Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Cash Gamer, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, about if we're doing Oblivion new builds. See, I this is the fourth thing of this I've recorded. I still can't say Oblivion new builds right. But anyways, we're gonna talk about the orc today. The orc is by far one of the most straightforward races in the entire game. Full combat. So let's get into this. The the sign you're gonna use for your build if you're a noob to this game is the warrior. You're going to do a combat focus and pick Strength and Endurance as your attributes for your custom class. This makes it so your character, already at the start of the gate, is going to do lots and lots of physical damage. Now normally you make seven, you have seven skills in your Oblivion Major class, right? Well for this one, I'm only going to give you four. The other three I would like you to use by yourself to experiment with. Pick some skills that you want to learn and throw them in there. Right? It doesn't, just because it's an orc doesn't mean you can't use magic or stealth. So the four kind of main skills that you're going to be using for this character is heavy armor, block, blunt, and restoration. Okay, now there's kind of a thing to do with these classes. Basically, heavy armor so you can tank hits, block so you can block hits, and blunt because orcs are better with maces. Like, they just naturally are, and it's good to capitalize on it. I don't like two-handed weapons uh, that are blunt because I, I, they feel shorter range than the swords. I prefer to go in with either a mace or an axe and a shield and do damage that way. That's kind of the skill set that I prefer when I'm using an orc. Or really any blunt weapon for that matter. I generally don't like blunt weapons to begin with. I prefer Skyrim system of one-handed, two-handed, but that, that's just me. So when you're using this character, it's very straightforward. You tank hits, and the only time you use magic is to heal. Now you're gonna be using restoration, so your willpower is gonna go up. So you're not gonna have a big bunch of magic, but if you upgrade your willpower a lot, your magic's gonna recharge faster, which means you can do a couple things with just restoration alone. You can heal yourself, or if you wanna get into a meta game before you go in, you can fortify your strength or your blunt skill so you do a little bit more damage. And like I said, the orc is just straightforward. You go in and beat the crap out of everything. This character is pretty straightforward. He's very good, he or she, I mean, I don't think there's a big difference between female and male orcs. I think the female has more in, more magic and the male like can sneak better or something random like that. Or maybe the male does more damage with the maces, I don't know. I don't remember exactly. So, this guy's this character is very straightforward. I think if you are not good at melee combat, the orc is great to just figure out the timing, figure out when to block strikes and when to hit, when to power attack, when to single attack, how to manage your stamina. Willpower kind of affects your stamina, and so if you're doing restoration, your stamina is going to go up too, or your fatigue stamina, same thing. Let me know what you guys think about this build in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more Oblivion new builds. I'm going to be doing all 10 races, so if you want to try out a different race and you want a starting point, I got you. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or steam it post of whatever I decide to make.